हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन अल्डी हाइट कीटोन्स कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड पार्ट थर्टी वन इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फी एर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फी एर फ्रॉम एग्जाम राइट नाउ विल टॉक अबाउट द मेथड्स टू प्रिपेयर सॉरी द केमिकल रिएक्शंस इन्वॉल्व इन द कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड सो दे आर सम केमिकल रिएक्शन वेयर वी हैव द क्लीवेज ऑफ सी ओ एच बॉन्ड्स इफ यू सी वी हैव टू बॉन्ड्स राइट सो इन वन केस this bond breaks so this is what i'm talking about this bond breaks where we talk about the formation of anhydride we'll talk about esterification we'll talk about the reaction with pcl5 pcl3 socl2 we'll talk about reaction with ammonia and then we'll talk about the reaction involving coh group all together we'll talk about reduction we'll talk about decarboxylation we'll also talk about substitution reaction in the hydrocarbon part we'll talk about halogenation we'll talk about ring substitution this kind of reaction we'll talk about let's start with anhydride formation let's start with anhydride formation from carboxylic acid so if you see here if i take any carboxylic acid in fact two of the carboxylic acid and i heat this with some mineral acid hcl or something so water molecule is lost and what you get is anhydride this is what you get right for example if you take ethanoic acid you will get ethanoic anhydride for example you take ethanoic acid you heat this with acid you get ethanoic anhydride Let's see how it works. So let's see this reaction mechanism. So I have ethanoic acid. It happens in the presence of H plus. So let's suppose this H plus goes there. This carbon, if you see, this oxygen is more electronegative, slightly negative charge. Carbon slightly positive charge. So first thing that will happen is this oxygen will attack this H plus. So what will form is CH three, COH. COH and a positive charge. Now this carbocation will attack this now. If you see here, in this case, this oxygen has lone pair of electrons, so it will attack this here. So with this, what you get is CH3. See, there's OH here, OH here, and here you get O. And with the H, oxygen will get a positive charge because oxygen has given electron. COCH3. Now oxygen doesn't want positive charge because it's electronegative element. It's asked, it allows hydrogen to go off. So this will form CH3, COH, OH, O, COCH3. And there are two OH molecules and one carbon, so it will remove water. So it will say minus H2O. It will form CH3, CO, O, CO, CH3. And this is my anhydride. So, if you want how this is formed, what you can do is you can say H plus attack on this. It will form H two O plus. It will go off. Carbon will get a positive charge. And since carbon got gets a positive charge, carbon want to get rid of positive charge. This H will go from O, and there will be double bond form. Correct. So this is the reaction mechanism for formation of anhydride from carboxylic acid. The next is esterification from carboxylic acid. So for esterification, what we do is we take carboxylic acid and then we react with alcohol or phenol in presence of some H plus ions, and it will give you ester. So if you see the reaction mechanism, I have some carboxylic acid and react with some alcohol in presence of some acid H plus. This will give me ester R C O R dash and water molecule. If you want to know the reaction mechanism, how it works is: see, I have this carboxylic acid, I have this H plus, right? H plus has to react here, right? Because oxygen is electronegative, and we know that this bond easily breaks in this fashion. And I have R dash O H. Oxygen has lone pair of electrons; it will attract this carbon. 
So with this, what you get is OH, here OH, and here O R H, right? And since oxygen has given electron to carbon, it gets positive charge. Correct. Now this oxygen doesn't want positive charge, it'll ask hydrogen to go off. So it will become R, C, O, H, O, H and O, R dash. There are two O, H molecule in this. So what we can do is either this H plus, let's suppose, will be attacked by this guy. So this will become R, C, like this, H2 O plus, which is pretty heavy. So what will happen is this will go off H2 O plus. So carbon will get a positive charge. Carbon will get a positive charge, carbon doesn't like positive charge, so it lasts this hydrogen to go off, oxygen gets negative charge, oxygen negative, carbon gets positive charge, it will form a double bond. This is the formation of ester. From here directly you can remove water, you can say that one carbon has two OH molecule, pretty bulky, so H2 will go off. That is also one process directly or you have to say that H plus attacks this OH, it becomes H2O plus. H2 plus pretty bulky, it goes off, right? H2 goes off and carbon gets a positive charge. Carbon doesn't want positive charge, so this ask oxygen to move, sorry, hydrogen to get out. Oxygen gets negative charge and they form double bond. The next is my reaction with PCL5, PCL3, SOCl2. So if you see the OH group of my RCOH actually, this group will be replaced by by chlorine. So we have seen this kind of reactions earlier. So if I have RCOH react with PCl5, what I get is RCOCl, PCl3 and HCl. Similarly, if I have RCOH, this is my carboxylic acid react with PCl3, I get RCOCl and H3PO3. I get three of these, I mean three of this. Similarly, if I have RCOH, again my carboxylic acid, I react with SOCl2, you get RCOCl, sulfur dioxide gas and HCl. This is most preferred because these gas emits on its own. This is the most preferred method. Let me discuss the mechanism for this. This is RCOOH and I have SOCl2. Sulfur is an electron hungry compound. So what will happen is now this bond will break, it will get a negative charge and this negative charge will be attracted here and with this what will happen is chlorine will come out. So this carbon gets a positive charge here. So what you get is here, this carbon gets a positive charge, oxygen react with sulfur with a double bond here there's a chlorine here because one chlorine came out correct this is what you get correct now what will happen is sorry there is an OH also here and this chlorine which came out will attack this guy correct so with this what you get is RC with the OH here, with the chlorine here and there's a big compound here. Now SO2 gas is pretty easy to go out, right? So what will happen is now, so this H actually, this bond H, right? This will break, this H will come out, this will get a negative charge and this will also break, carbon will get a positive charge, it will get a negative charge, it will form a bond and SO2 will come out. With this, you get R, this, right? Cl. Correct? Because see, this forms a double bond here. This OH comes out totally. See, this bond this forms a double bond. This bond breaks. This bond breaks completely, right? And from this, SO2 comes out. And again, Cl minus again once more comes out and that reacts with H plus to give HCl. So we have HCl, we have SO2 and this forms a double bond. This is a double bond here, right? You see, 
this is my double bond, this is a chlorine here. So for clarity, what I can do is I can draw in this fashion. So you don't want to be confused. But this it is clear. See, this C and O is a single bond from double bond, right? This H went out, H reacted with Cl to form HCl, and SO2 also comes out. So this is the reaction mechanism for this. Now we'll discuss the reaction of carboxylic acid with ammonia. So if I have my carboxylic acid, it reacts with ammonia. It will be in equilibrium, it will give you ammonium salt. And then when you heat it, it gives you amide. That's the reaction. For example, I have CH3COOH. This is my carboxylic acid. When it reacts with ammonia, what happens is this becomes CH3COO minus and NH4 plus. One hydrogen goes from here to here. So it becomes NH4 plus and O minus. When you heat this, what happens is the water molecule goes off oxygen here and H2 here. This becomes CH3CONH. This is acetamide. Correct? And this is ammonium acetate. Ammonium acetate is acetamide. Similarly, if you want, you can, you can do this reaction for benzoic acid also. This is benzoic acid. When it reacts with ammonia, it's an equilibrium and it forms this complex compound CO minus NH4 plus because one hydrogen goes from here to NH3. This forms a ionic compound, and when you heat this, the water molecule goes off. And it forms amide. And this is my benzamide. And you see, this is ammonium benzoate. Let me write it. Ammonium benzoate. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also Get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.